get him. Tom Piper. Hey, dude, man, you're right. Yeah, sir. You good? Yeah, man. Good to have you here now, man. Tell us a bit about what's been going on with you, man, since we last spoke. Uh, since we last spoke, um, where are we now? Two, sweat, uh, sweat yeah, of gosh, we right, just come back from um, Croatia. We did Outlook. How was that there? Oh, it was great, man. Manchester was well represented out there. <laughs> great fun. Um, I've had a good summer. I've been doing um, a lot of festivals around Europe with Tech One and stuff. Been in the studio like with Daywalkers. Um, yeah, just I've just probably been my busiest summer, albeit. <laughs> We're going to reach out, we're going to touch on our every last bit of what you just mentioned there, but let's just take it back to the people that don't really know where Tom Piper has come from and just seen it like over the last, say, two or three years. You know, gosh, I've been emceeing since I can't, you know. Well, a lot of this we've already discussed yeah. in the first part, there, so people. So, yeah, obviously, yeah, well. just, just from, from Manchester, I've been emceeing in town since about 94. 90, yeah, 94, 95, I was 14, 15. That drum and bass was like really taking off. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And at, at the time, the main MCs in town, I'd say were like crystallised, uh, General Payne, who yeah, gave yeah. me the, the first touch of the mic at a big club. And um, obviously, um, Trigger at the time, he was the yeah, breakthrough yeah, yeah. MC for like my generation. Seriously. You know what I mean? So. so you had a lot of people there that was like nature in the art for you just to run in, not, not to run in there, but to like, Make your own plateau, if you will. Yeah, kind kind of nurturing, but you see, our generation, or my generation, and I'd say the generation before, is like, we kind of took matters into our own hands around town. <laughs> you know, we used to grab snatch mics wherever we could, you know what I mean? And, That's uh, the thing you had to do that. Yeah, and you know, you know what, luckily, we had, a, we had a, um, a great talent pool at the time, you know what I mean, coming mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we refuse to be held back by anybody. <laughs> so tell, tell us a bit about like when you're actually reaching the scene there and you thought to yourself, right, I'm actually here now. And where you thought to yourself, you know what, I could actually bring something, not just be part of the scene, but actually be something about part of the scene. Um, well, not necessarily bring stuff to the scene. Um, the locals, we kind of have grown up together from early teens, maybe not together, some of us, mm. like we all merged when we were like 18, 19, but me and like, um, let's say Goldfinger for instance, mm. um, from Virus Syndicate, and my brother, like Karmic Evolution, we were emceeing together from the age, of, let's say 93? Right, 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 right. 93, 94. We had the, what, we're all at schools down the road from each other, um, us and Goldfinger. Um, we used to do house parties, DJ Pale, my DJ at the time was Casa. Mm. So like, you know, um, we had, um, I used, used to play basketball with Jenna G, like she was in a right. ladies team from like 92, 93. So we go back years, a lot so, of us, so like was strategy from Broken English. I'd say like 98 was around the time we, we met him, or we, we, we started doing gigs together. I was doing a, the whole Viagra Fools Spellbound thing as well, with Giant Tiger, big, big. Diamond Head, Shadra. Um, Mike Deval at the time, oh, did, oh, did Sapo, obviously Mark XDC yeah. opened many doors for me. Let's go get him! A lot more dimensions to Tom Piper that people don't realise, things like Daywalker and things like Tom and Shaw Ryder, because I was watching like we were doing with Daywalkers yesterday and you know the footage there there's so much energy there there's so much respect there you know what i mean which kind of not it didn't shock me but it kind of threw me back like now nah, you're not just mc and you're you're bringing it something a different dimension where people ain't going there um just, you know i just found um different music helped me channel different things mm. you know um like with the daywalkers thing I'm not saying it's it's aggressive but it's just the energy that it's the more life, fresh, more. yeah, it's, it's the energy that the live yeah, sound brings. Real. You know what I mean? It brought something different out in me, and you know, I love doing it, being able to express myself in that way, get away with it. I'll be if I was to do that, I'd drum a bass kind of night. Like, some people might see it as intimidating, <laughs> but I say the new, the new crop of kids coming to the raves, they listen to anything from indie metal, 
dubstep, drum and bass, everyone's in the same pool, so those kids won't, won't, wouldn't be shocked if I all of a sudden turned up at a Metropolis or Warehouse Project or Hit and Run and started headbanging <laughs> or joining in in a mosh pit, you know. I mean, that's what that's what you're definitely trying to drive there because you know realizing like over the period of time that I've known you and the period of time that I've been researching into you, there's do there's loads of different faucets within Tom Piper's game and you don't necessarily reach out and say, look, this is what I'm doing or blam, this is what's going on. Now do you know do you know what like I made a conscious decision years ago to take the blinkers off and um, but some people would see it as selling out or whatever or you know. I won't have none of it, you know, because, you know, you, you start following those things and you get the blinkers off and you stay focused on one scene or one thing and you have mm -hmm. to prove yourself to such and such a hierarchy and stuff. I can't be bothered with none of that because at the end you're of the your day, own man. Yeah, you're your own self and at, at the end of it all, I want to look back and I'm going to have my own memories. Mm -hmm. I don't want to look back and say, well, I should have done this, I should have done that, I should have worked with that person, you know. I'm working with everybody and anybody, you know what I mean? I'm doing the, the whole metal thing with, with Daywalkers. Um, went on tour with Bring Me The Horizon uh, via, with, with Tech One, you know what I mean? So I ended up jumping on stage with Bring Me The Horizon. Love them or hate them, they're my boys, you know what I mean? <laughs> they're flying a flag for the UK metal scene, in it. you know what I mean? All over the world, they're, and they're, they're a prime example. I myself up, just off my clothes. Hold my head high and watch walk the copper roads Same old flex, different episode Rising from my city's gutters as the pope Let's talk about a bit about um, Sean Ryder You saw him there and like <laughs> I just mentioned there that you You really book as well, tell us a bit about how, how did that come about? Well, um, what year is it now? I think it's been uh, 18 months or so since I started working with Sean I'm like, this fall is in the music game, you know what I mean, there is legends and cult heroes mm -hmm. and um, our city's provided quite a few, you know what I mean, in the last few decades and then um, you've got Sean Ryder, the Gallagher brothers, Ian Brown for me as like iconic guys to work with or you know and if any one of them was to ring any MC or vocalist or musician in town you're going to jump at the chance to work with any of those four guys so to me that's like the premiership of Manchester, those boys are the, are the top four Mankinian rebels or the, the people's champs, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Sean Ryder rings your house phone or rings your mobile, says you want to meet up. Yeah. Have you known him? Was there any, was there any dialogue between you before him? No, it was um, a case of um, Holly Wilson, uh, Tony Wilson's son. Yeah. Um, I think he was interviewing him or was uh, talking to him about function and he was asking for um, if he knew any MCs that had um, like live music background and you know and he, he said <laughs> well, nice or not he just said yeah, there's, there's no competition there there's only one guy I know for that job and then met up with Sean for like a, we went to have a meeting for about half an hour five hours later after watching the footy <laughs> you know what I mean great I was in you know been, I've done I think it's two or three tours already. Wow. Um, where where we done tour? Um, UK mainly. Um, we did uh, this summer went to Jakarta, which was great fun. Went to Istanbul, um, and I do believe we got a few more things in the pipeline towards the end of the year. Nice. So I can't really, you know, yeah, about November time. Real nice. So yeah, he's also yeah, just released his book, which, which I'm sure has got like numerous stories in there because. <laughs> You know what, there's a lot smarter than people actually give him credit for. It's not just a, um, a party animal. Um, I actually learn a lot from this man. You know, well educated. He's like a sponge. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Regardless of his history or um, what people think his legacy Media was. Betrayal. You know what I mean? Yeah, his betrayal uh, is a lot deeper than that, which he people start to find out over the next few years, you know, mm -hmm. with the way his career just turned around, you know what I mean? I'm a low down, scoundrel. What's your role with, within the camp, with the Shaw Rider camp? Are you like the backup and see do you do your own songs? Um, no, no, I don't do my own stuff, but like, um, I do all the vocal stuff to um, Black Grape. Right. I do the vocals to Black Grape, so. Uh, how, how's it been for you? Because like I said, this is like the premiership. Do you feel like 
you're one of them now, do you feel, do you feel like you're not? Yeah, you know, I've made good I friends, feel- you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Regardless of um, how old the tunes are, it's always a pleasure and it's an honor to actually be able to do these songs, you know? You know um, and then hopefully in the pipeline, which fingers crossed, you know what I mean? You never know, anything could happen. Might be able, might be able to do some more black rape. It might never happen, but you know, I'm here. <laughs> I'm on the stage. I'm doing it. You know what I mean? And you know, Sean Ryder, you know, Sean Ryder, Tom Piper's got a great ring. Yeah, man. I have to give Julie a shout as well. Julie Gordon, you know, um, she's a vocalist when she took over from um, from Rueta. So yeah, you know, the team's good, man. At the moment, it's quite strong. So. So let's bring it right back to current day with Tom Piper now. I know you're still touring heavy there, and you know what I mean. How are things there? You, you know, you're still very much active in the scene. Yeah, well, well, that's after here. I head to Southampton. We do a tour with Tech One uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, also, it's the freshest week, so I'm actually doing double and triple gigs, you know, triple shows. Oh, wow. <laughs> it, it, it's easier said than done, you know what yeah, I mean? For real. But, you, you know, when, when you're doing like live tours and like, the gigs are from 7 to 11 and it's a joint headla- headline thing. So I think we'll be off stage for like quarter past nine. Enables me to two hours to get from A to B, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will make a two and a half hour journey in like two hours, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the same, yeah, yeah, the same <laughs> side. But yeah, double and triple up the gigs. Um, so I'll be in a I'll be in a venue near you at some stage over the next couple of weeks. If I'm high as moving, broken dagger at the speed of darkness, they walk and seek the light at the end of the tunnel. Are you still writing new material? Are you like Yeah, but at the moment, um concentrating a lot on day walkers because I obviously the events of the past couple of years of my life have just been it's been a whirlwind, so um it's come full circle. Um there's tours being thrown at me left, right and centre from the whole Sean Ryder thing to Tech One and Daywalkers itself. Also myself as an MC, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I, um, I'm active. Active. Yeah, I'm very active at the moment. So, you know, um, with Daywalkers, we're writing the album at the moment. It wouldn't take long overdue, like um, our old drummer left. Um, we moved to America, so now we're in the studio. Say we've got five or six new tracks there, which we are already have enough for an album, but I'd say we're gonna come out with another four by Christmas. Right. Yeah, we're looking to release an album for February, but maybe March, April, is more realistic. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Cause I'm, in the, I'm in the right field at the moment, it's my time. I've got to ride the wave, man. It you, feels like you're in the zone as well. You're very, you know, where, where you know exactly what you want from each and you know part. Our generation again in Manchester is time that you either roll or get rolled on, man. And mm. everybody's on top form at the moment, you know. Because obviously you got everything going on in London, Birmingham got their thing, Bristol got their thing. We are Manchester, you know. There's so many guys in, in Manchester doing not necessarily drum and bass or in the genre that I'm in, mm. you know, because on the other side of drum and bass, you've got like, obviously, um, from like Mark XDC to Marcus Intellects to Sapo, then you've got all the jump up block with Props and Rowling mm, yeah, yeah. coming through, you know what I mean? Um, on the hip hop scene, with Broken English, you got like, um, like the guys who put on the Juicy Night, and there's so many nights that my brother Kamek Evolution, he's doing the hip hop stuff. And sorry if I don't mention everybody, it's just, you know, you know there's, there's so many guys on it at the moment. I think with Manchester as well, I'm glad you touched on that really, with, um, especially with Manchester now being, it seems like there's, there's a lot more of a buzz, there's a lot more energy, and it seems to be a lot more of a family type, you know, and back in the day the energy was kind of dispersed amongst different people. Now everyone seems to be joining together regardless of where the genres lie or where the talents yeah, lie. Yeah, you know, because you know what, yeah, right? The, the politics always does come into it somewhere down mm. the line, right? I am, I don't gonna lie, you know what I mean? I used to like, have people in my ear, but you know what, that's when I took the blinkers off and started doing stuff in different genres. Mm. And it doesn't matter what some idiot at the top of the hierarchy thinks. You know, just do what you gotta do, you know? 
hook up with everybody and any kind of musician you know and just, let, let's just get it on yeah, like, do your thing you know what I mean and, and progress because at the end of the day you, you look at the like, let's say you talk in football terms football football as a set career you know what I mean mm. 10 years it's a seven year average isn't it mm. Eight year, some of us have been in the game for like 15 years and still at it you know so if you make the right choices and do the right thing, and do, in fact, do the right thing for yourself, you'll be all right. You know. But what I mean? what, look, one thing that you definitely got there is um, the longevity. That's there's no there's no way there's no other word about that. That your career, as you know, as many people have wrote, is it has been it's legendary. So, no, I, it's, I know there's so much more to come from you, but your status as it as it because you, now, do you know do you know what right? I growing up right. Um, I, would, I never class myself as the best MC in town or anything like that. Um, I'm a people's person, and you know what I mean. I just, you know, I move with the times. Like, for instance, like the jungle scene turned evolved into drum and bass. Mm. Then a lot of people jumped onto the speed garage scene, which then evolved into grime and. All kind of, you know, what a lot of people were doing is they were jumping every time a new scene came along, everyone was jumping on it straight away. And they were kind of lo- they were watering down the reputations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Just diluting the reputations. You know, I'm a junglist first and foremost. Like, yeah. Jungle, drum and bass, yeah, is my thing. Yeah. Well, I like grimy sounds, you know what I mean? I also like melodic stuff, so with the band, I was fusing that, you know what I mean? I was yeah. getting the energy of the the grime and stuff, along comes dubstep as well. Um, at first I was skeptical again of loads of people just jumping ship. You know what I mean? The dubstep had its own movement and then loads of people were jumping ship and then trying to carry the same reputations in that. But you have to start again at um, square one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's got to rebuild itself. you got to rebuild itself, but you know, I think that's been the best thing about with dubstep as well. I've interviewed many uh, many producers, especially about dubstep. And seeing being, being dubstep, it's such a new genre. And because it came off the back end of what was going on with Garage, it's had, it had that kind of bad name for itself yeah, no, because of the crowd. No, no, I, I, I wouldn't say that though. Like you had the um, you had the grime, yeah, yeah, and it, and it, even with the grime, it's a great outlet. It had. Um, it was stereotyped, yeah? Yeah, yeah, true, true. It was stereotyped. And like, the dubstep thing was going on long before that. You know what I mean? Before it came commercial. You know what I'm saying? And like, the sounds now, you can't really even clash it as dub. Because yeah, the, the dub sound has gone God. from it. Yeah, it you know what I'm saying? Key. So that's what I'm saying. Um, the, dub, the, the whole dubstep thing was around years before. Years before. You know what I mean? Even listening to old dub tunes, you hear like a dubstep, a dubstep beat is naturally there anyway. Yeah. The low frequencies were there years before people started putting filters on it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Always, uh... And then obviously the Croydon boys in London, they, you know what I mean, pioneered the dubstep sound as, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they shaped the mold the sound. They, 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 they molded the scene, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And, uh, and that's, you know what? And I salute them guys that they're still flying yeah, the flag. Real, they're still flying the flag very hard. You know what I mean? Because that's what they believe in. That was their sound. You know I mean, albeit the sounds evolved. But it's you evolved know? so hard now. It's in, it's in Canada. It's in Australia. It's in, in yeah, but America. It's China. This, it's this, everywhere. Yeah, but the thing is, this is what a lot of people don't realize. Like for years, I'd say like Canada's been involved in the whole scene as far back as like some stage in the night is I knew of MCs and DJs, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, going on there, but even on the, like let's say the, the Ragger MCs, like um, a General Levy and people like that, you know what I mean? Um, the Congonati lot, Top Cat, you know what I mean? Even like Dubstep, Jungle, Drum and Bass, these guys are absolutely huge in different countries. It's yeah. only here where we're spoiled. Yeah, because there's so many of us and so many, so Everybody's much talent everywhere. Everybody's doing it. Yeah. But when you go to other countries, they appreciate it. You know, I'm not saying they appreciate more than our own fans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Never yeah. saturated. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they, they, 
you know what I mean? They don't get it as often as we do. What we have it every week, you know what I mean? Midweek, we yeah, can go yeah, anywhere, yeah. any genre, best so DJ, radio, you know what advert, I mean? TV, yeah, yeah, everywhere. everywhere. Everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So when we go to other countries, you know, I've got following everywhere. Mm. It's huge. I don't, you know, I, I still don't get it. I'm still baffled by it. You, <laughs> you go to Germany, you got, I've got a German crowd spitting out my lyrics, albeit I'm doing it a dead fast, yeah, they're spitting out my lyrics in English. So I'm just like, wow, wow. You, know, you know what I mean? So Canada, been to, to um, I've even been to Sweden, I've been touring everywhere, you know. The sound's travelled and I'm just glad that music has taken this man union everywhere he wants to go. Like one tune that I've been buzzing off, yeah, I was playing it, I had to play it a few times to catch a few things in it, was um, Let Me At Him. It kind of like, it started like almost like a dub, I mean like a proper dub, but with the guitar riff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then yeah. when it kicks back, when it all kicks in, it all fits there, and you start spitting there. Tell us what that was about, man. Tell us the story. Uh, well, the story is actually in the lyrics, like, um, it's quite an old, fr an, old, an old friend or. Yeah, it's a, an, an old mate who like stabbed me in the back, you know what I mean, or back in the day. See, I'm almost doing the rhymes because... Like, <laughs> it's coming back to you. You know what I mean, like... It's um, a lot of my stuff is like that. I, 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 it's not revenge, you know what I mean, I don't physically... Just getting it off your chest, just getting it? it off my chest. Mm -hmm. And obviously, like, in the first verse, like, friends from the start stabbed me in the... Uh, friends from the start. Then you stabbed me in the back, put a dagger through the heart. You know what I mean? I was a wounded animal, someone like that, licking my wounds, couldn't see the smoke of fire, just inhaled the fumes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, you know. I get to express myself in that kind of track, you know what I'm saying? And then... Um, it's, it's perfect though, really, isn't it? It's a perfect way to express that sort of feeling in, in that sort of music, because like I said before, it would never work in any other sort. You couldn't do that in drum and bass, man. You just nah, couldn't do nah, nah. dub stuff or anything like that. No, nah, no. Nah. Not even hip hop. Now, nah, do you know what? You can't. And I'm going to do it. Oh. I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just expressing how I, how I felt. You know what I mean? I don't physically go out and do nothing. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? My weapon is my music. You know what I'm saying? That's my defense system. It's my energy source. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's the same for a lot of people. So let me at him. You know what I mean? It's like kind of yeah. If. You know what I mean? Mm. Let me at him, could get my hands on him, you know what I mean? But in the end, it doesn't really matter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at the end of the track, there's just an explosion of like riffs and a breakdown where the less said, the better. So I'll say mm. absolutely nothing. <laughs> I let the music do the talking and if you see it live, you'll feel the energy of the track. Yeah, definitely. Everybody that's, anybody needs to see that track. Seriously, you're gonna love it. That's all next level. Level. Yeah, we're gonna do the video to it, man, so. You know what I mean? You guys will be joining my brother on that. I hope you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, man, that. So yeah, we'll get that done. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? Eleven, eleven. What? So, anything to look forward to from Tom Piper then for this year, next year? I know you talked um, about the day walkers album. Yeah, but next year. Um, we expect any like singles, drum and bass hits. And you know what? That's that. That's that's what I'm on at the moment. I actually produced my own tunes as well. Been doing for years. Um, I want to do a solo album um, for summertime next year, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My brother's just done one, Calm Evolution, Broken English are doing one, I know Virus must be on that tip at the moment, I know Jenna G's back on it, you know? So all the MCs, DJs around town, producers, even Trigger, no, um, MC Trigger, you know? He's gonna fly the flag even harder for Manchester, he's never stopped, yeah, true, true. you know what I mean? Because there was, there was like, a period in his career where he wasn't getting the bookings in his own town, you know what I mean? Mm. And then even he helped me with the hurdles around the country, you know, where he was as uh, certain certain events weren't booking trigger at certain times, you know what I mean? So coming from the north, you kinda have that chip on your shoulder to yeah. kick down of a doors, you know what I'm saying? You don't let me them coming in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know, I don't even have to come in, man, you know what I mean? Mm. It's a glass house, man, this, <laughs> this, this whole thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, true. 
It's a whole glass house, the whole, the whole, the whole scene, you know what I mean? So when would you come, you expect these 12 to be dropping? Are you, when you can drop any singles, any um, um, you know, it's all up the sleeve, man. Yeah, like I say, with Daywalkers, like February, March, my solo stuff, I'm working on that, as you can see. Some top secret stuff, we got to get that in there. Top, <laughs> top secret stuff. On my next interview, I'll let you know what that's about, and that's nothing to do with me emceeing. Right. Uh, that's it. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Keep trying. Keep trying to tackle me, man. Yeah. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. It's, it's not <laughs> Just sold him the dummy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, like I say, like um, I say, March, April for day workers. June, July, my solo stuff, which I'm gonna be doing um, a bit of stuff with Tech One, um, Broken English, um, Virus. I want on it. I want Jenna. Um, obviously, I'm a kid. You know what I mean, Carmen Kivo. Um, any MCs from around Manchester, you know what I mean? And then a few producers from around the country, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. we'll see. Talk is cheap, you know what I mean? So I'm waiting for a response and a lot of people um, regarding beats and stuff, you know what I mean? If it comes, it comes. If it don't, it don't. We get along with it, we get it done. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Big shot. Um, Dub Physics is another producer. So it's Chimpo, big in the game at the moment. Mark One. You know, uh, we got North Base as well. You know what I mean, Don Raid, Sapo. You know what I mean. I've got a pool of guys. You know what I mean, to choose from for beats. Oh, to rinse and beats. But I one of these guys. You know, if it ain't the right beat, it ain't rolling. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, yeah. saying that the beats ain't good enough. It's just that. Don't fit where now, now, I need to put a Tom Piper stamp on whatever I do, rather than just. I can mould the different situations. Mm. When I do solo stuff, it's got to be my stamp, you know what I mean? I've got to come hard and correct. You know what I mean? Might even throw a bit of personal stuff in there, you know what I mean? About my actual journey as Anton rather than Tom Piper, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. People actually think that's my full name, you know what I'm saying? His name's Anton, you know what I'm saying? So my life role will be in a solo album. Tom. It's been a pleasure, my friend. Man. Hope all the best goals for you in the future, man. It's looking like it's going to be big for the next year or so. No, yeah. Manchester is our time, man. We've got 18 months, man, to create a loophole, man. Let's get it done, you know, and get everyone through that black hole, man. Enough said.